Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this reach you, I greet you. This ain't like none of my other videos, but it's just kind of going to be what it's going to be. Everybody want to know more about me, so I'm going to start telling you more about me. But let me jump right into this so I can get this part of the video done, go do what need to be done, finish the rest of the video, edit it, and post it so you can actually see the complete project. I literally have over 2 million followers on TikTok. I got over 100,000 followers on Instagram, over 150,000 followers on Facebook, and over 17,000 followers on this YouTube platform where you're looking at this video. And all of that was said to tell you that if you can see them bags out there, they full of aluminum cans. Yep, I got all them followers and I collect aluminum cans. But let me tell you why though. So when I was a kid, I used to do a whole lot of begging. Yep, I did. It's one of the reasons I don't really do a lot of begging now and why I don't really be asking people for help and stuff like that is because them little aluminum cans kind of changed my whole perspective on life. But let me break it down. So I had to be preteen, and this is early 80s. Told you I big. So I always asked my grandfather, my uncles, my aunties, anybody who I ran across when I was a little kid, I used to tell them, give me a dollar. Give me a couple dollars. I want to go play the video game and do whatever it is that I was doing when I was a kid. And my grandfather got tired of that. Papa Joe was not with the nonsense, and he did not play about a couple dollars because he gave his whole check to my grandma. Whole nother story. We'll get into it if you want to know it. But my grandfather was an all-around hustler to go with everything else that he had going on in life. So when I was a preteen, early 80s, mm -hmm, my grandfather told me go with him one day. And where did we go? He knew all the spots in the city to go collect aluminum cans. Mm -hmm. And we would get out the car and he'd be on his cane and he would tell me to hop into the trash can and throw all of the cans out. And he had this little makeshift little concrete block with a stick on it. And he would smash all the cans. I would put them in bags and we would put them in the car, the truck, or whatever vehicle we decided that he was going to take that day. And we would take them back to the house, stack them up. Then the next day we would do it again. We would do it again. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Bang. Then Monday, we would go to where they cash in aluminum cans. And he would split the money with me. Now, keep in mind, I was born in the 70s. So I grew up in the 80s. When I was growing up, they still sold Pepsi and Coca-Cola in the bottles. And the bottles was worth a nickel or a dime, depending on where you took them. So imagine aluminum cans and bottles was what we was collecting. Trash to everybody else, but to my grandfather, it was cash. And he showed me at a young age that the things that people throw away, there are places that you can take them to get a couple dollars out of them. And that changed me. Imagine being a little kid and you know that that can that that lady just threw on the ground, you could pick it up, smash it, put it in a bag with a whole bunch of other ones and get a couple dollars out of it. It made me into a whole different type of individual. I was going to school in the third, fourth, fifth grade, and I got a pocket full of money because I went with my grandfather and he broke bread with me and I put the money in my pocket. But I'm still asking everybody that I run across, man, give me a dollar. And they would be like, man, I ain't giving you no dollar. Cool, I ain't tripping. I just asked and I continued on doing what I was doing. And that's just kind of how it started. As I moved on through life, I always knew that there is trash that can be turned into cash. Wires scrap metal, copper, whatever it is, it's someplace in the city or in the country or in the world that you could take that trash and trade it in for some cash. My grandfather's favorite saying used to be, man, you could sell dirt if you got enough of it. And as a kid, you know, it really didn't register. But as I started to get older, I started to understand it. He even told me, man, that people buy shit. Yeah. If you got enough bullshit, literally, somebody will buy it from you. It's called manure. So I went through life with that in my heart, with that on my mind. So if I ever need anything, I do it. But 
since I've been older, I still do it. And not because I need the money. I do it because it's a humbling experience. Like, there are people in the world that wouldn't hop in the trash can and throw no aluminum cans out. They wouldn't do it. They gonna throw them in the trash and that's just gonna be the end of it for them. But for me, it take me back to my childhood, a place that I rarely get to go because I grew up so fast doing whatever it was that I was doing in the streets. So today is the day I go cash my aluminum cans in because you know my lease up and you know my lease almost up and it's time to go. So I collected a whole bunch of bags of cans and I'm going to go turn them in and I'm going to take y'all with me to see the process. People always talk about they ain't got no money and I see people begging and this, this, that, and the third when the same thing that I'm going to do, they can do, but they don't because for them, that's beneath them. But for me, it's just a part of my life. That's just going to be what it's going to be. But come on, man. Let me get these aluminum cans where they need to go so I can start the process of turning down the sale so I can get ready to move out of the city. Let's do it. One. Two. Snow rub. Oh, yeah. And don't forget these. Because... It's some more cans and some more cans and some more cans. Now let's go cash these in and see what they hitting on. Uh -huh, bags. More bags. And more bags. Don't don't judge me. Most of the people that's gonna have something wild to say about this video, I got way more followers than them, but they gonna try to put me down because I jump in the trash can for some cans. But that's what make me better than them because I ain't gonna tell you that I need some help. I'm gonna go get me some help. Now that I got the cans loaded up, man, let's go somewhere where they cash these in. If you ever been to St. Louis, right, this Normandy High School, where I'm going is right down the street, but this is one of the key places I can show you on this journey. And even more extremely random as you see all the cans back there. When I pulled up to this place to see if this was where I could cash aluminum cans in, why did one of the gentlemen working there know exactly who I was when I got out the car? He like, who Mr. Hey now? That's EJ, ain't it? Absolutely. Right here at the Wellston Scrap Metal Yard as I turn in to go cash these little cans in. Mm. They jamming in here. They is jamming in here. See how they do it, man. Here. I'm talking about bust these cans down right fast. I saw up on law and go buy me something to eat with the money. Now you the first one, goddamn me, to bring cans with a coach bag and a mouthful of gold. You're... Cans cashed in. Now let's go see what they worth. <laughs> Photo ID required, no exceptions, no lottery. I'm talking about no weapons on the premises. There will be no robbing of the scrap yard. Man, I swear for the Lord, they scrapping good. I've never seen this. The scrap yard got an Instagram. Oh. Now that it's over with, them aluminum cans that I had in them bags sitting in front of the sale was worth a whopping $38. It was almost a 40 piece. I almost could have. I'm going to keep that to myself. The aluminum can thing over with. Now you know, right? I collect aluminum cans and all of that because I was raised to. It wasn't an idea that I thought of. My ancestor showed me the game, and now I'm passing it on to you. Tell your kids stop asking for money. You better pick that can up, smash it down, and throw it in a bag, and go get you a whole bunch more, and then go cash them in. Other than that, bring in the logo.